What's the deal? What's the deal? Got to say peace to the gods. I say passe by some passe on the cover of respect that quality la croix. Peace to the gods. I think the hardest part about marriage is that, you know, sometimes my wife complains about me being mean. You know what I'm not saying? Or my higher self being mean to her. But I don't think she's considerate of my feelings towards things as well. You know, but I feel like we have to be considerate of the wife's feelings, but the wife ain't considerate of our feelings. And sometimes I think when my wife talks to me, she doesn't realize how she can get, or if she does, I have to be really spiritual. Now I know why God put us, made me spiritual, because to, in order to be on this earth, you got to ignore stuff. Like, you got to know, I'm sure she ignores stuff, but I be ignoring stuff too. And the hardest part is I can't treat her like no nigga off the street. Because that'd be easy when a nigga say something fly to you you be wanting to say something fly back. You know what I'm saying? So you got to hold it in so that you don't you don't respond and start an argument. Because I know, I know you feel like when you, I know you know when you push buttons. You know, like, I know you feel like it. Because sometimes, do you not realize your mouth be bad? <laughs> like, do, do you not know, like, how you will argue with somebody is not how you will communicate to your husband or your spouse or your wife. You ever feel like that? Like, you know how you complain to God about me and me being mean? Look, no response. <laughs> it's crazy. See, when she get upset and when I get upset, it's two different things. When they wrong, they don't say nothing. They ain't go. They th they feel like you the problem, and they gotta do whatever they gotta do to get away from you. But it really don't be you that be the problem. On some things, I do be a problem. My biggest thing is family, cause I don't ignore what people do. Cause I try not to do shit to people, and I rock with them when nobody else is rocking with them. But with family, you gotta ignore certain things. That's the hardest thing I have is with family because family ain't never been supportive when you need them. But when they fall off, they want to be around. But you can't make certain comments. You can't say certain things because you got to keep the peace in the house. But that's because that spirits that's coming in between what y'all got. So you think you got to be the bigger person and not say anything. And that's when you got to be spiritual and let God understand, tell God how you feel. And we don't. And we don't. So, it is, I don't sleep in the same room with my bedroom, in the wife or my bedroom. I don't. And the reason why I don't, we got two completely different personalities. So, I've just learned that when it's when it's my argument or when it's something that I don't like, people, when it's something that you don't like, when it's your argument and something that you don't like, people are quick to, they will, they will talk about you and criticize you. Buenos dias, como estas? Bien, gracias. <laughs> so, yeah, like, is like when people get mad, like like say for instance when people want to criticize me, oh it's all good, it's all good. People gonna say everything. People gonna talk everything when they want to criticize me. How you doing? All right. But when it's time for me to criticize people, people walk away from me. Like my wife, when it's time for her to get criticized, she walk away, slam doors. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. But when I have to something to say that's critical, that's critical, they walk away from me. I don't understand that. And then they argue with me like I'm some nigga off the street or some person off the street, and not your husband. So the lack of respect is there. The man don't res the boys don't respect the men because black homes and black men are not in the homes with the wife, and the wife don't have respect for the man. Because they have to do everything they can by themselves. They feel like they're doing everything they can by themselves. So when a man starts to get into position 
to where he can take care of everything himself and he has that same attitude as the woman, it's going to be a deadly situation because nobody's going to see eye to eye and everybody's going to be arguing and fighting. So now there's tension because what happens is the husband has to be the bigger man of the household. And the reason why that is is because we have to be more spiritually in tune as leaders because everybody else and they trying to lead, but they lead in themselves. And I don't sleep with my wife. Do you want to know why? <laughs> We're not going to bring those things up. But I'm pretty sure she will be saying stuff about me. And that's just because there's other arguments about how I feel like how her son left us. Her son left us and tried to make me look bad. But as her husband... I have to forgive what he did and not because he fell on his face or he not being there. Oh, I don't know what the situation is coming on because people are sneaky. So now I have to be mindful and forgive that or else it's going to be arguments. And I feel like once a person leaves, you can stay gone. You wasn't helping. So why was you? Why are you helping now? Because why? You, see what I'm saying? To stuff? Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? That's bullshit. <laughs> so you got you got you got to you got to ignore certain things, or that shit will make you crazy. That's why I came up with peace to the gods. Peace, God. What's up, bro? Shit, going to the store. We'll be back, y'all. <laughs>